Hi guys, Beastie here at Beast Tech. This is the Samsung S22 Ultra, which right now has been rebooted. This here is not my Samsung S22 Ultra, but this here is my fridge. I'm gonna put my S22 Ultra inside my fridge and I'll run some tests at least Geekbench and etc. just to see how well or not so well the S22 Ultra will take this cooling breeze. And of course, we're going to compare the both benchmarks. You know, inside the freezer, right? There's even other features of freezer, yeah, where I have some nice things, and outside using the ambient temperature. Phone feels a bit hot in my hand, and I'm just going to run the timer right now. And I just prepared something very nice, putting it in the freezer, guys. Let's see the temperature after five minutes, and then I'm gonna run a Geekbench test inside the freezer, and then we're going to compare the score. So stay tuned and be back in five minutes. But I luckily will forward this for you, so you don't have to wait. Time to do a check. Oops, oh my god, yep, one minute 45 seconds to go. Oh. 40 seconds more left. Mm, we're not yet there. Okay, guys, I think it's about time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, uh, okay, let's see. Oh, only 31, 28. Okay, it's a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna run the benchmark. Put the four in the fridge, guys. Um, let's see how much we're gonna get. Don't want to open too much. Uh, okay, 41%. Okay, let's do a quick check. Nah, no, we are not yet there. That's some real ice, by the way, yeah. All right, guys, it's time for a reality check. Again, I'm just doing this video as a joke, but the main idea of doing this video is just to see how much the phone will score, let's say, when the cooling were perfect. We know no phone has a perfect cooling, not to mention Exynos, so this is why we're doing this. Right now, the phone operates with a 20 to 25 Celsius temperature and this is actually quite okay you probably will not get this in an ambient temperature because when you work with 24 degrees ambient then your phone is going to be already like 30 35 something and imagine in the summer oh, 1171 and 3374 on the multi-core score and that's actually quite weird guys because we've seen this type of performance also when the phone is not inside the freezer what i'm going to do right now i'm going to open the cpu monitor because i'm just interested to see the CPU temperature 29, 27 degrees. Mm, okay, this makes me think that this is probably about the best that you can get from the Exynos 2200. Maybe some of your phones have better bins, golden bins, and you're gonna get higher results than this, but I would say this is probably, yeah, as much as you can get. Now, what I'm gonna do, guys, I am going again to give my phone five minutes, all right, and I'm gonna leave the phone outside and then do another test, right, with the ambient temperature so we can compare. Phone is already outside, guys. I'm gonna hit now the five minutes timer be back here in five and here we are so I'm going to stop it right now important check although the phone has been five minutes outside with 24 degrees of Celsius ambient temperature it's still running very nicely like 27 28 and without any further ado guys we are gonna be starting the benchmark <laughs> uploading results yeah, we know. Anyway, Geekbench delisted Samsung 1167 and 3427, guys, which is actually not so far away from what we got in the fridge. But see here, the temperature started to gradually increase. This was the score we got from the freezer, 1171, 3374, and this is actually the result that we got outside, which is not so bad. Temperature, of course, rising. So what are you gonna do, guys? Yeah, you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run the CPU benchmark one more time. Let's see how much we're gonna get the second time. One thousand one hundred fifty-one on the single core and three thousand three hundred thirty-seven on the multi-core, which is not that bad at all. The temperature now slowly going to forty degrees, and yeah, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I bet you know. I'm gonna run it one more time.
and we already see the first signs of the heat 821 on the single core and 3200 40 celsius guys so you see when the phone is operating between 20 25 even up to 30 you probably get the max performance when it gets into this dangerous zone with 40 celsius yeah but you know what i'm gonna keep going let's run it one more time Uploading the results, everybody thrilled, drums rolling, 1086, yep, definitely interesting because see, temperature 41, but it seems that the Exynos 2200 can handle some heat, right, and probably even do better throttling, we've seen in some of the videos that it does even better at throttling compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 version, guys, so let me just show you something, I'm going to show the first result, this is the result that we got in the freezer, 1171, 3274, 25 degrees. Right now, this is the result we got, I think, like on the four test using 41 degrees Celsius, running 24 degrees uh, ambient temperature. This is really very impressive. I'm not sure if you think that is, but it says that the Exynos 2200 is at least not bad at this. And you can also check here my one hour torture throttling test, which also shown good results. Of course, not so good as the S21 Ultra Exynos 2100, which was optimized, 25 updates one year, but this is really already not so bad. And guys, if you like the video, you know what to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, please you and your family, stay safe, bye.